So, in case you missed it out, uh, last time I went to Europe's great congested capital, London. After my London day, I woke up to uh, two things. Estonia's Independence Day, and for some, the worst of all, the train to Birmingham. I guess all of these dumbass jokes of Birmingham I'm making is way too much for this video. Uh, partly because I was in Birmingham for most of the time. So... Um, but as we got into the taxi cab, we got to take part in the true Londoner experience. The traffic jams, oh my fu- But spoiler, you wanna know what the even worse thing? They were worse on our last day in Birmingham. <laughs> Welcome to Great London Houston Railway Station. Here we go. As we set up on a great journey, we reached the Midlands, particularly the West Midlands. This is also apparently uh, the puffer region between the North. They say Glasgow's full of specky bombs, let's find out. Excuse me, mate, is it two Glasgow's full of specky bombs? Off your prick. What? And South uh, Divide. Oh, good heavens, how utterly cringeworthy. On this smooth and sometimes hilly terrain of the West Midlands, there are the small suburban towns where all the houses are just the same. Where you have really, literally no impact, effect, or even the feeling of being different from quite literally anyone else. To be honest, there were some places that seemed interesting that we, for some reason, didn't get to go to, such as Northampton and Coventry. Well, anyways, we reached all industrial Victorian Birmingham. Now, upon leaving the railway station, we were just circling around it, uh, quite lost, until we found that I, I didn't believe this at first either. Tim Horton! And oh, was it... You know, it wasn't even that good. It wasn't even close to the delightful taste it had back home. Uh, well, after that, we headed out to see some of the city center. Uh, and then we reached our Ibis Hotel. My god, was that hotel such an upgrade! from the one in London. Uh, anyway, we then headed to some of our friends uh, uh, outside of town and it was quite nice. Uh, and approximately at midnight I got COVID for the first time ever and felt quite shit for the following two days. And yet I tried not to give a shit about it and then the following day we met our friends in front of a Sainsbury and we went to Stratford upon Avon. So, Stratford is one of these very small towns that are packed with things to see. That's why this whole town is about that one uh, poet named William or something. And it has worked tremendously. From what I've been told, it was the second most visited place in the UK after London at one point. Which, I'm not sure if that's true. But, um, point is that it's quite well known indeed. Okay, so, proud of Stratford. So, we've got Shakespeare. You never know what you can find, so here's a year-round Christmas shop. <laughs> when most come to Stratford, they go to visit Shakespeare's birthplace, which has uh, some art pieces, uh, poems of course, some nice history I guess, and a nice court house which leads you to the birthplace itself, which is also quite nice, sure. Now, as I later learned, uh, Stratford uh, had some more interesting stuff, but we decided that we would first go to a true, authentic, English pub and that pub also just so happened to be situated on the crossroads of some very beautiful streets. After that we made our way down to the Bancroft Gardens. The park had some nice trees, a river, a statue and a bridge I guess. The old and the new. To conclude, Stratford has a quite nice small town vibe uh, that I often find back home as well. Uh, but now with the day coming to a close, it was time to go back to Ham. The following day, we decided to go and see Birmingham itself. So first there is this main street, then there's this main icon of Birmingham, this statue of a bull in front of a bigger shopping center, and right down from there is the cathedral. And from there we went down to the rough part of Birmingham. I just woke up here fucking steaming because I live in a shithole. Oh well, the shithole isn't as um shitty as you'd expect. The nice and surprisingly clean river. Anyway, from there we decided to go to the Chinese school, but these goofs, these goofy ass streets that does anything but to the border normally. At one point we even passed it in this part of town called Gay Village. Uh, once we reached the uh, by Chinese choir, we were immediately greeted with a bunch of Chinese made security cameras. <laughs> the quarter was small as fuck uh, and didn't really have anything to offer other than some bars, restaurants and apartments. Anyway, from there we made our way to the posh part of Birmingham. 
<laughs> the canal side. Now, no joke, even to get to the canal side, you did have a new reset. The canal side made a sweet oh, the The place itself was quite nice. I mean, like, it took me a bit of research to even find out about this place. As we crossed uh, to the main part of the Worcester and Birmingham Canal, uh, it seemed really, really nice. Kind of like Amsterdam. Well. On second thought, I wouldn't really say it was like. I thought there, there was a, a nice straight road back to the hotel. The next day, I didn't really do anything other than the ultimate British experience, the Tesco, which I'm pretty sure I didn't even film any of. Well, on the last day, we re-explored the canal side. Then we headed to the Birmingham Library. Now, the road does look full with all the floors full of books as you go up the escalators. I guess the main thing is the view from up top. And man, does it look cool. Anyhow, then we had a great meal at the Shakespeare's. Gosh, you can't get enough of him, you Midlanders. And well, that was it. Uh, the following day, it was off to the airport. Where, don't worry, I got the greatest British experience of all. Crazy traffic jams in London, the tube going on strike by closing down most of its underground lines, and some damage hit in the airport as usual. But I enjoyed England. Uh, I really did. I hope to come back whenever I can. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a great summer. <laughs>